Hi guys, welcome to our Fundamentals of Technique playlist. Um, this is a really frustrating time for all of you, I'm sure. The dance schools have been closed, your school's been closed, you're not seeing your friends. Uh, well done for those of you who have been really proactive. I've seen a lot of you already getting involved in, in some online dance classes, which is brilliant. Use this time positively. You've got all this time off school. Why not use it to make ourselves stronger dancers? Uh, you're going to find at home that you've not got nearly as much space as you're used to in a dance studio, or you're probably going to get the cat and the dog getting under your feet. If you try and grab Batman, you'll kick the TV. Don't let that annoy you. There's, there's other things you can work on. You don't need to be doing bronchettes at home right now. Um, this particular playlist of videos is designed in such a way that you could do them in your bathroom if you needed to. It's all about working on the, the fundamentals of your dance techniques, the way we stand, the way we hold ourselves, the muscles you should be using actively whenever you do any kind of movement. Some of them look at balance for Perret, some of them look at the, the different kinds of plie that we need to be aware of. And these are all sort of, um, they're, they're used for advanced technique, but they're things you would have learned to do a long time ago. It's something as a dancer you're always developing. Uh, so take your time to work through these videos at your own pace. You don't need to do all of them. Rewatch them, take the time to understand them, watch them over and over and over again, and keep practicing these. These are things you should be practicing throughout your dance careers. Uh, and hopefully we can use this time and come back much stronger than we were before this all started and you'll find if you've learnt at home how to stand properly, one of the video looks at stance and one of the videos looks at floor pressure, if you do those two things you'll come back to the studio and your bronchettes will be better anyway without you having practice bronchettes.